We're designing spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. As you can see, we are ready for some do it yourself, refresh, and redo projects mm -hmm. to make your home a better place to live. Okay, but are we really going to take on these projects here now? Yeah, I have a tool belt. Hello. Uh -huh. And you have okay. a pencil. <laughs> we'll give it a try, but the best bet will be let the great DIY ideas and tips come from the pros that you're going to see on today's show. This is true. All right, well, I'm ready to take it on, so stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. The do-it-yourself attitude is gaining an increasingly large foothold with many homeowners. For example, Exhibit A. Ready to work. Well, what we have next is an excellent case study in taking on a project, a glass tile backsplash, and having the right materials to pull it off with professional results. They're not letting us anywhere near this project, no, are they? No, not at all. Watch this. The do-it-yourself attitude is gaining an increasingly large foothold with many homeowners. They are taking on home improvement projects that allow them a degree of expression and accomplishment that pays off in a beautiful home with personality. Take, for example, Melanie, who has recently gotten interest in DIY projects for the home and is ready to finish off a new glass tile backsplash she recently created in her kitchen. My husband and I decided that we wanted to do something that would become the centerpiece of our kitchen and we wanted to do it by ourselves. We decided we wanted to go for a backsplash. We knew the colors that we wanted and we knew we wanted to incorporate lighting, so glass tile was definitely the way to go. But now we're at the most critical point and the last touch, which is the grout. And if it doesn't look professional, the whole effect of the backsplash that we've done is going to be totally ruined. Designing Spaces is always interested in DIY, so we teamed up Melanie with Scott Banda, who is the North American Marketing Manager for Bostic, a leading manufacturer of adhesives, grouts, and other tile and stone installation materials, for some suggestions and tips on achieving a professional result with DIY tiling projects. So you can see what we've done with the backsplash. Yeah, it's uh, great. Thanks. We're just at a point where we need to grout. Yeah, first of all, you've created a great look here. Um, I like the, the nice combination of materials. You have the natural stone, the clear glass, and the frosted, and it really complements this uh, countertop really, really well. Yeah. And you're right about grout. Grout's the final step in the installation process, and it's, it's one of the most important steps because you want to have nice, clean, and smooth grout joints. And I happen to have the perfect product for you. So it's time to pick a color. Okay. Would you take a look here? This is the fun part. Probably something from the brown family. Oh, really? Okay. So... Let's see. So I'm throwing in there. I don't know, that's kind of dark. Those are kind of beige, maybe too. You know what, I think I like this one. That looks great, yeah, that's, that's amber. Okay. That'll look sharp. Yeah, good. And here it is right here. This is what we call a pre-mixed urethane grout. And this specific product is made with 80% recycled glass content. There's nothing else like it on the market. And with a glass tile installation like this, it's really ideal because it allows light to pass through the grout joint and into the tile itself, which brings the whole appearance of the, of the backsplash to a whole different level, giving it a lot more depth. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference between this and regular grout? This is, this is actually pre-mixed and ready to use. Um, traditional grout is like a cement-based grout. You'd have to add water or different additives to give it some of the properties that this has. So there's no measuring or mixing. It's very simple to use that way. It's also highly crack and stain resistant, which makes it ideal for a backsplash like this. And because it has a built-in sealer to it, you never have to use any type of secondary sealer coatings um, over the life of the installation. So before we get started, we want to wear the proper safety equipment. So here's your safety glasses and gloves. Okay. And we recommend that you read our material safety data sheet before starting. really put me at ease when he described the grout that we would be using on my new glass tiles. But then I got really nervous when he said that I would have to do it all by myself. Yikes. But with him as my guide, 
I know that we're going to do it without messing up my new glass backsplash. Okay, so here's what we need to get started. We need a grout float, we need a flat sponge, a pail of clean water, and obviously the grout. First step will be to take your sponge, put it in the water, mm -hmm. and you want to wring that sponge so that it's nearly dry. Oh, okay. Okay. Now give that surface a quick wipe. What you're doing there is you're actually uh, removing any dirt or debris, mm -hmm. but you're also putting the thin coating of water down so it's going to help us during the cleanup phase. So this product is what we call a clean-as-you-go product. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do a small section, then we're going to clean that up, and then we're going to move down the wall. Take a scoop, apply it to the wall. Be sure to pack the joints nice and tightly. Okay, and, and just use start an up, up, up here or Start down low here? and use an upward uh, motion. coming through for that final kind of squeegee step, yeah. hold it on the 45 and just come up. Now take your sponge, do a little wipe with the sponge. Okay, again, we're making sure all the water's out of that. Okay. And hold the sponge flat and just go with some nice wide swipes. There you go. So that's it, really. You wow. continue down the wall using that same process. It's so easy. had me feeling like a pro. Not only could I do it myself, but I was enjoying it. And all my fears of splotching my project vanished once I started applying the grout by myself. And now I have such a sense of accomplishment. Well, your work looks great. And that's our whole goal at Boston, to bring people like yourself, commercial grade solutions with do-it-yourself simplicity. Scott, after this, I'm definitely tiling the bathroom. So where can I find the premix Boston grout? You can find a distributor near you by going to one of our two websites, bostic-us.com or bosticdiy.com. Great. Thank you. I am so happy You're welcome. with my box flash. That's awesome. Hey, Mom. Yeah, it looks great. It really does look like a professional did it. For more information, go to designingspaces.tv. There's more coming up right after this. That was a lot of fun. But seriously, DIY home improvement projects can be very fulfilling for homeowners. It's empowering. It is, not to mention the value-added part of it. And you're really making your home a better place. And with that, it's time to say goodbye. We are out of time here on Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.